This might be a long one. Who do you think the top 10 players will be in 10 years? Love the vision. Top 10, bro? Oh How the God. fuck am I supposed to guess 10? Okay, let's just do the top five. Who's going to be the best? Do the 10 together. Do the 10 Number together. one, Dude. Mbappe. Number two, Holland. No, number two will be Jun Sancho. Well, this is no specific okay, well, order. There's no specific order. Okay, just go. Okay, Holland, Sancho. So that's three. Uh, Ansu Fati. No. 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 Yeah, I think he pulled off. No. Unless, he, 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 especially yeah, if Barca so. sells him, because if not, not I will give Timo team. Werner a shout. Um, Trent and Timo Werner controversial. Timo Werner that kid's be been a lit. Goal I'm gonna Kuku give. Did, we, did Wallace say Havertz? Real. I was good about to say about to say Havertz. Havertz. Mason uh, Mount, maybe. Um, guy's been really good. Mason Greenwood. Mm. Oh, Greenwood. Mm. Maybe. Greenwood, maybe. Maybe. Um, there's a lot of hype surrounding Troy the one. Parrot. <laughs> There's one that one center mid from France who's been getting a lot oh, of Oh, Kamavinga. Uh, yeah, Kamavinga, maybe. Yeah, he's he, I don't, not enough. I don't. It's no. he's a young kid in probably the worst out of the top five leagues. Well, if well, so is it Mbappe, Pepe. to be fair. <laughs> think Nicholas. Yeah, Pepe. Mbappe is clearly built different. Okay. You guys think, uh, uh, I mean, there's been plenty of great like... players that like, came out of league and like and have become top players in the world, like Hazard. Yeah, but he's seven. He's 17 though. Oh, so 17, 18? To... 17 too early. Still, he's no. starting matches. Tenali. Tenali, no. I think, could be there. Oh, yeah. Do you guys think someone like Phil Foden will be there? Yeah. I mean, if, I don't if he know. stays in Man City, yeah. absolutely not. I'm sorry, but he needs to leave. Yeah. Like, effective immediately. Oh, to anywhere. Oh, yeah. We yeah. forgot to mention again Alfonso Davies. <laughs> like, Fonzie. Like, yeah. I think Akimi could be somewhere up there. Yeah. yeah. It's also hard to do the right back. It's. There's a lot of players. It's just how they grow if injuries happen. Yeah. Blah, and also, blah, like blah. ten years ago, people weren't saying like Mane or Salah were going to be no. top ten players in the world. No, like, totally. exactly. Well, ten years ago, happen. ten years ago, we didn't know who Mbappe was, and now he's like, about, he was. In oh the shit, football. we didn't know who he was. <laughs> yeah, some like, eight so year that's, old. that's what I mean. <laughs> like in ten years, some kid out of nowhere can show up and like, boom, hey, I'm better than this guy. And it's okay. just runs down the wing at the world yeah. cup. Yeah. yeah, we could have yeah, a guy named like Nico Zahari right. or something. <laughs> yeah. You just pull that name out of your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering though. Next I mean, question. Liam, Liam, it's definitely gonna be Christoph Piontek. No. Also, Bro, that guy's retiring yeah. in five years because he's gonna get put. No, 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 no. On we don't need to something. Christopher Ayer, the Celtic center back, has been linked with Real Madrid in this summer transfer window. I'm telling you, that Good guy's business. got potential. He's got a lot of potential. Top ten. Six goal. foot five, great on the ball, good good speed, good attack. I'm telling you. Christopher Ayer. Ooh, I like this question. Prime Torres or Prime Drogba? Prime Torres. Drogba. Sorry, Drogba. Drogba. Dude. Drogba. I got dude. Prime Torres was fucking different. Prime Torres. Yeah, yeah, Prime Torres. Torres. Oh, dude, that guy say, was, so was not Drogba. fair. Over over an entire season, Fernando Torres. In the dude, final prime... Drogba. <laughs> yeah, easily Drogba in the final, but dude, Torres, man. Yeah. In yeah. his prime bro. Prime Torres was like my Tor favorite Torres. player when he was at Liverpool. Holy he was just shit. such Torres a joy to watch. So good! Oh my god, he was. I mean, and, having... then, and then there's Chelsea. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna slide my own question uh, here though. Drogba yeah. or Eto? Eto? Probably. I'm gonna I'm go with Drogba. I, I think Drogba for me. I think Eto oh, for Eto. Really here, 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 let me let me say this then: Fernando Torres prime or David Villa prime? Oh God! Oh. Again, David. Uh, David Villa, David man. Villa, I think is the most underrated striker that's been for a long David, time. We're, okay, David we're just going to random questions, but they're also good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my Dude, let's just be honest here. Spain had like the best dynamic duo of strike. Oh, I'm still saying Fernando seen. Torres because I, I just more memories with Torres. I'm gonna go with Torres. I mean, yeah. David Villa is class. Special sauce. So, so, I know, so I know. good. All those players were saying that's so good. Well, then the again, Drogba brings brings in that leadership um quality that. Drogba's oh, also just Drogba. All right. <laughs> Didier. Good day, mate. Keep up the good content. Thank you, uh, Fraser Coleman. Honest thoughts on the Australian national team in the A League. Cheers, legends. Tom Rogic for the soccer who's that, moves. Who's that one player? I can't even remember him now. And he's the only player on that team who's not on that team anymore because he's retired that I even gave a shit about. Tim, Tim Cahill. Cahill. He does not understand. So I don't care. He was great. I love Tim, Tim Cahill. Cahill's good. Aaron Moy. He's Aaron Moy plays for Brighton. Who's the guy that takes her? They, they have a couple their, players their... in the Premier League at the moment, so. Yeah, the guy that takes the, all the penalty shots, um, got a big beard. Oh. I don't know his name. We all know who you're talking about. I have no It's a weird name. name. It's not It's not an Australian name. Yeah. Is it Yedinak? Yeah, Yedinak. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm a little concerned for Australia's I future. Think, I think Australia... Why? Because well, yeah, of all I the giant they... snakes out there killing their potential players? I think that's no, a good reason. because they haven't really been developing as yeah. many great players compared to the other Asian nations. Mm-hmm. And, and I've heard... Spiders. And I, I've or heard snakes. a lot of players, a lot of like... Or the fires. Think... Who the let fuck let lives let in Australia is... anymore? Let, let let's let be talk. realistic. Let let talk. Like... I'm venting. That sense. Okay. <laughs> like, there's a lot of... <laughs> like, what I've heard is like... Uh, Australia's popularity, like for youth playing football, is down. I'm not 100 percent sure, but and I would have to like do a bit more research. But I, I've just heard a lot of things where it's not looking ideal for the future. I mean, when you look at Australia from the outside in, you know, you see they have their own domestic league. They ha- they are growing yeah. some players, and everything. so it looks good on paper. But when you dive a little deeper, yeah, who is the next Tim Cahill? Who is the next generational talent coming out of Australia? I mean, Harry Kuehl. <laughs> What a player. Daniel I mean, they're... Arzani, who is on loan at Celtic from Manchester City, but he's I mean... been injured for his entire loan spell. I mean, at the moment, the most exciting player is maybe Tom Rogic or Aaron Moy, the uh, most notable. Tommy also, Rogic. Matthew Ryan from Brighton. Good keeper. Um, they also have a player from Hibs named Martin Boyle. Liam, do you know much of him? Mm-hmm. I, I don't know much about him, but I know of Martin Boyle. Yeah, they've, they've got... It doesn't seem like they have a lot of young players coming through right now that are very notable, clearly. Um, I mean, we all love Australia. Clearly, I have, I have a lot of love for them. I, I I think if they host a World Cup, it will restore that place what they is... need, Lucas. No, I don't need a World Cup there because that place is fucking terrifying. How? It's well, beautiful. Was, was I will go with you to an Australian Bro, World Cup have you time. Have you seen the house fighters there, dog? Yeah, That's they're, okay. in the, they're, they're just we children have in the toilet. Fuck that. You ever see a bear? Those things are spooky. Bro, I would rather see a big bear than one of the thick ass spiders. Why are we talking about that? Bro, that place is scary as shit. Bro, I, I'm, I'm they have bears are spooky. I would Bro, they have three of the world's most poisonous spiders. Fuck that smoke. I'm Sydney, not going. Sydney, Australia, World Cup final. Oh, oh. Or Melbourne. Oh, I'm in love. I agree Beautiful. with like both of you, Matt. And God I mean, Matt's right with that stuff, but fucking send it, it, it to is, South like, Korea. I feel more that. safe there. <laughs> Jesus, Greg, do you agree that bears are spooky? What? Are bears spooky, dog? I, I wouldn't say children. Bears are children hold stuffed <laughs> versions of them when they go to sleep. No one's holding a giant fucking spider plushie, yeah? Nobody. <laughs> So he's definitely point. not wrong, though. Um, <laughs> that place is dangerous. Question. Next question. Uh, Australia's national isn't looking too hot right now. The A-League isn't a bad place, so, you know, kind of may finish off your career, unfortunately. Is it, it's though? Kind of, I mean, the weather's so the beautiful. MLS. I'm going to be honest. The weather's beautiful. Fuck it. Go Fuck. join Beckham. Gary Hooper. And I've heard, actually, Australia's a nice place to live. I have had friends who stayed there. They haven't had no issues. What do you think of the Eredivisie and the possibility of a Dutch-Belgian league? Will this bring the league to a solid sixth league of the year? I think it'd be great. I think Ajax, PSV, um, they, they need some more competition. Gank. That's as simple as that. Gent. Gank and Ghent or Chop, Club Bruges. I think that'd be awesome. I would tune in if I could. Maybe. I feel like yeah. people... In the Netherlands, won't like that idea. Yeah, especially like the lower I think side it's a good clubs. Idea. It yeah. would be good for Belgium, not great for <laughs> the Netherlands. It only, I think it's a good idea. It'd only be good for like the, the only, elite teams. But, but would it not provide more competition for the lower sides to get mm-hmm. to improve? But then, well, it provides more competition for uh, teams going into the Champions League as well. Yeah, and that's there, a there might be more I money, but like they, but I, like the top clubs would probably make more money, but then the bottom clubs might lose some it's interest smoke. from their fans who like would certain dutch supporters like i don't know like at utrecht supporters would they care about them playing some belgian side or versus another dutch side well see either they play a shitty belgian side or get worked by ajax again so i think they're going to take their their yeah. chances on this one <laughs> yeah but Personally, I don't. then what about those clubs also in the first division in the era divise right now like but they're like Maybe not relegated yet, but they're near the bottom. What if those teams do they just get sent to like a second division? Because I doubt they're going to make a 28 team first division. Just get sent to the gulags. <laughs> yep, it's going to be a point total thing. If you get sent to the gulags, get sent to the gulags. Fight your way out. Yeah, I think it'd be good, because, <laughs> way especially out, with right? how the current state of football is and how how much money clubs are losing because of the coronavirus. This might be a good idea. To kind of... <laughs> I can't do that. 
Okay. Send it to the Google Ice Place. <laughs> Keep it going. Keep it going. What players were too loyal in their career like they didn't win enough? For example, Matt Letizier. No such thing. Good for them. We need more players like that, to be honest. I agree. So I can't saying, say a player. Um, I don't. I don't think a player can be too loyal. I mean, you can look at someone like Francesco Totti and say, "Did he?" He's really... a legend. He's a he, legend he, in Rome. Yeah. But did he really? That man. Did he win as much as he could have if he had went to another club? I think it. I think it's better for his legacy. Oh, him winning a title. I, I, I like a player in Real man. Madrid than like let's say him staying in Rome. I think it's better for his legacy that he stayed in yeah. Rome. Uh, later, the same thing with Vardy. Vardy yeah. could win more if he left Leicester, but I think he should stay there for his life. Liam, maybe, maybe this one's poised for you. Uh, what do you think of Scott Brown maybe in this conversation? Scott Brown ain't going nowhere else, bro. No one wants that crackhead. <laughs> no, <yet>. not anymore. <laughs> but, but back back in the day, he was yeah. being linked to the move to England. I mean, Newcastle, I know we're linked heavily with him. Um, That's a toned Scott, down, though. Scott Brown is a player that suits Scotland. You know, he fits the Scottish game. I, I think he, he suits was, the Scottish he, he fans. Honestly, He's been perfect. But let's be Scotland. real, Liam. Here, what do you think would be better for Scott Brown's career, going to fucking Newcastle or staying in winning shit well, with Celtic? I mean, exactly. I mean, playing Champions well, League. I mean, people exactly. forget Scott Scott Brown was a record transfer in Scotland. Like he was mm-hmm. a big deal when he came to Celtic. From him, he was he's a player that was you know Rangers wanted him so badly, and when he went to Celtic, all of a sudden the Rangers fans hated him. So I was like, okay, but. You know, yeah, if he had gone to a mid-table Premier League side, he would be just a run-of-the-mill midfielder. Playing um, in Scotland, he's one of the most successful captains in the country's history. He's played Champions League. He's captained his country a bunch of times. It's, yeah, I, I agree. Playing in Scotland, I, I think Matt Brown has worked made for a good him. point with uh, Jamie Vardy. Sure, he won the historic Premier League title, but aside from that... What else? What, yeah, but what, what else? at the end of the day... Lo- he's being loyal to Leicester, which is just... Uh, at the end of the day, know. when everything's over, the fact that he won that title... And didn't move and stayed and continued to compete is worth yeah. more than let's say him going to Tottenham and not winning anything again, or him going to Arsenal exactly. like not winning like, anything again. Like Mares of... and Conte, right? They I left. Feel there might be a lot of talented players in Brazil that might have not left, and you know, um, here's maybe one more. I'm thinking, Colacini from Newcastle because he was quite loyal to them. I mean, he was not a terrible center back either. I think there's a lot of people dislike him towards David Luiz 1.0. That was the David Luiz before there was David Luiz. Is what he was. <laughs> Most likely African team to win an international trophy or tournament, please. So you mean the World Cup? Uh, World Cup, yeah, basically. Uh, right now? Or like? Yeah, right now. Let's go right now. I'm going to go with Algeria. I don't see that. I'm more mostly because the fact they won the African Cup of Nations last time. And they've some, some um, talented players. I mean, you can go with Senegal as well. Those are the top two. Senegal is not bad. Ivory Coast usually isn't terrible. Nigeria is probably Nigeria. Nigeria is probably Nigeria is probably the only shout here. I would love to Egypt's give. Shite. I I would love I, to give love to Ghana, but they don't like so any players coming carry. through. Only thing that Ghana has is Partey at the moment. Unfortunately I, for African nations. They have never really gotten that close to winning a, an international tournament. Except really. Can you blame them, bro? All their players are going to France. Mm. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah they do. I mean, you like, have to look at like, potential young players coming through, and for that reason, I'm going to lean towards Nigeria. I mean, maybe. Like, yeah. well, I know Mali's like, been developing some. Yeah, Mali. Mali's been developing some good players recent years, so maybe they're a shout out. They've been doing well in youth yeah. tournaments as well. But that's. Yeah, but they got to. They gotta keep them when it comes to their uh their their men's teams. Well, look usually at, the guys at, that at... leave that go to um like play for the French national team, they're usually born in France. A lot of them were a lot of them were scouted in Africa, moved up to France, and then just inherited that heritage. That's how most of it happens. Yeah, but then there's guys like Mars and Pepe. They 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 were born in France, and, but they play for their regard- African heritage. And regardless of that, the Boateng brothers, once did, one, like both were born, one decided to play for Germany, one decided to play for his African nation. I mean, the same with like Miroslav Klose and Podolski. They were both born in Poland, but they ended up moving to Germany, so they played for Germany. It's the same oh. thing with Canada, yeah. States even. Most of the good players move out of the country early or even later on. Choose they're like, the better they country. Even make, yeah. Yeah. Not better, That's Alfonso better for country, actually playing I mean, for Canada. In terms of football. I don't know. I think Algeria has been pretty solid recently. I mean, they, they they do have really just Mares, but aside, they also have Faguli, which is, he's been quite good. They have a tall, I think. I haven't heard yeah, anything about Faguli for the past three years or anything. So I don't know <laughs> if he's really worth mentioning. Is this Prime Ivory show? Coast, though. Is this after Morocco? Morocco? Yeah. 
Morocco is Africa, uh, but I mean there are, are they they really good players that? in Morocco. Are they um, Hakimi plays, right? Yeah. Hakimi Ziyech. Uh um, Amrabat. But you can't win a competition no. for that matter with like three good players. Three if I'm being honest, I unfortunately think, like, it's it's too difficult with these top European yeah. Side. If I'm being, if I'm being honest, like, goddamn France's bench player. would play start for most of these teams. What do you think of Wolverhampton Wanderers? And do you think Ruben Neves will be a world class midfielder in a few seasons? Yeah, I feel like Ruben Neves doesn't get enough credit. He's been quality for Wolves. He's done a lot for them, especially for his age. He's like 22. He also comes from Portugal, I, so I know a couple of podcasts like... ago we talked about the like why he doesn't get enough praise compared to like James Madison. Yeah, and I think Ruben like, Neves yeah, is he, better he... than James Madison, to be honest. There are also but, different style you know, players, though. Yeah, but in terms, in terms of getting of the wolves, job done, though, you can definitely compare. In terms of Wolves, I absolutely love Wolves. I love the way they play. Yeah. I love their fans. I love Nuno. I love Adama. <laughs> um, they, they have bro, so I love many... the way, I love the way Matt Doherty plays. Yeah, yeah Matt they just have so many great, quality yeah. players so that just work the, yeah. their asses off. And Adama the has done. really been their, you know, star player this season with the way he's broken. Wolves... Through, but... Ruben Neves, Wolf's I mean, this dude, feels like... What about Raul Jimenez? Jimenez? I think he's their star player. Yeah. Jimenez class. Arguably Definitely the best, best Mexican player. player out there right now. Um, he's the best Mexican player out there right now. I feel Ruben Neves, he's like 23, but I feel like he's been around for so long. He's so mature and good for his age. Like, yeah, he has been. I think he deserves more praise. I, can, I think he can easily slot in, like, maybe any of the top six sides. Maybe. I think he can slot in Liverpool, not, maybe not Man City. I, I mean, we already have a player I filled think he in could play role. Man City. Man City has been rumored, but they bought Rodri, who kind of fills that role as well. Yeah. yeah. He could definitely play for Chelsea if he wants to go there. Or Jorginho's on his way out of that situation. <laughs> you sold him. <laughs> Opinions like on Wayne Rooney. I think if it wasn't for Charlton, he'd be the best English player of all time. And he struggled there for a couple of years, too. So. I also think Rooney, the reason why he's not kind of like hailed as highly is because of all the transfer rumors and all the media attention he got in the past. And also the fact he didn't really Scandals. show up. Yeah, scandals and the fact he didn't really show up at the World Cups when they, they when he shaved his chest hair. <laughs> That's why he sucked. Let's be real. But then he a shaved his head oh, and yeah. grew a beard, and he was great. <laughs> the hair transplant. Let's talk about Wayne Rooney. Number I think one, Wayne Rooney two, is, and three. I think Wayne Rooney's a brilliant player. I mean, you just got to look at his goal against Manchester City and be like, yeah, this guy is incredible. Um, top five Premier League of all time, probably. I think he should honestly, be. I think he's probably, a player, man. Just for his goals and like, to be the record goal scorer for Manchester United, isn't it? Yeah. And England, feat. isn't he England? And as well? England, yeah. Incredible feat. I mean, there's been some I, insane players over the years. I absolutely hate him because he Panenka us in the championship. <laughs> 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 just kidding. Yeah, no, he, no, he's I, he's class. Honestly, I, I, I think he's a great player. I, Matt, what's up? Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I just held up an L. <laughs> That's oh, from Greg, no, I, I, I honestly yeah. think it's just the, all the scandals and his, you know, performance at big tournaments like international. Fact, he looks like Shrek. Yeah, that just <laughs> harms his legacy. I mean, I think in the early 2010s, he was probably top three forwards alongside Messi and Ronaldo. Because when I was a kid, the top three forwards I would always think of were Rooney, Messi, and Ronaldo. Those were my three standouts when I was younger. Yeah. I only really liked him in a special one TV. Matt would know. Dude, that's a God, they made him look so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. But shout out to Wayne Rooney's tweets. That, like, he would tweet at Rio for now. Hey, do you need picking up in the morning, Rio? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pick up in the morning, yeah. Fuck. Uh, what is the most underappreciated football nation? Probably Germany. Pe- people love to hate Germany, man. I think right now it could be Norway yeah. or Denmark. It's- Portugal? Yeah, but underappreciated. Portugal, yeah. I think Portugal, because aside from... Uh, People were Ronaldo, hating on them in 2016. I mean, reasonably so. They finished third in their group and they won the Euros. <laughs> yeah, the team fucking sucked. They won the Euros, though. They, they, to, be I, fair, they, to be fair, they, they did... Still they surprised did, they, they pulled they, that off. To be fair, they didn't lose a the game. They just drew what three about, times in the group stage. What about Greece? I mean... Greece sucks. Greece we didn't talk about Latin last week. <laughs> Greece has always anymore. been shit. No, not until they won one euro. What about Turkey? Yeah, they won one. Yeah. Turkey? Yeah, Turkey's actually been decent a couple years. For footballing nations, yeah, Turkey would have to be out there because, yeah, they have great fan bases. They're very loyal to the game. They made the semifinals in 2002 World Cup, the Euros in 2008. So Uruguay's think... probably somewhere up there. Uruguay's oh, yeah, always sure. been yeah, a good. Definitely. Yeah, Always been a show. Definitely. They won uh, the so goddamn Mexico? first World Mexico? Cup. Even Mexico? Even Mexico. Oh, Mexico, yeah. Mexico's a great footballing nation. Doesn't get any great credits because i mean they're not 
they're not a South American big boy, and they're not they're not comparable to the Europeans, right? So J- the Jamaican national team, we deserve more credit. We have the best nickname. Like, come on, bro, We're the reggae boys. <laughs> the reggae boys. Uh, Do we win games? No. No. But are we cool? Yeah. Should you say Bulls start for us? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Uh, I, I would say Japan, too. I think they're underappreciated yeah, like still. Japan. Yeah, I was thinking that, too. North I mean, Korea, dude. <laughs> Have you seen how well they're doing in their little thing, though? Every single time I hear news coming out of North Korea, they're winning something. So. <laughs> they're winning the 10th World Cup. By seven um, goals in the final <laughs> against the best team in the world. Okay. Um, yeah, class. I feel I like guess... there's going to be a hit out for me because of this. Can we, like, cut that? <laughs> I'm actually worried now. <laughs> Do you want me to <laughs> cut that? No. <laughs> no. So this is the last question, I think, and this one got a lot of likes on. Um, can Liam talk about the Celtic Ireland connection? Oh, um, well, okay. Celtic was founded by an Irish priest, Brother Walfred. Um, the idea was that like Celtic was kind of like a charity almost to feed like the Irish immigrants living in Glasgow, because you know the Irish the Irish famine happened. People moved to Scotland, founded the club. It was supposed to be a charitable. Um, and ever since then, Celtics had a huge Irish connection, both fan base, players wise. I mean, Robbie Keane, Roy Keane. Hmm. Um, there's been Damien Duff. You know, there's been, there's been a, a ton of Ireland Irish players. Time. He actually just left Celtic today. He was our assistant manager. He just left us today. So that's sad. Good old yeah. Chelsea days, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but there's there's been so many great Irish players and the fan base. Like Celtic's huge in Ireland, and you know. At, it's, it's, it's a Scottish club with Irish roots, so that's why yeah. you always see the tricolor flying in Celtic Park. You can also tell the, just based on the colors are green and white. Mm. I mean, yeah. Scott, Ireland's always been connected to that. So. Totally. 